an interesting story about the product I'm gonna share with you here today. Now I follow the Razor CEO or whatever, Min Ling or whatever, I'm not too sure of his name, so I'm gonna call him straight up just Min, right? And he was a follow him on there and he was sharing his new Razor product. Obviously, is what he does. He's gotta promote, he's gotta make sales, it's hence the point of a business, right? I get it. But anyways, about this product that I'm gonna share with you today, he was tweeting about, he goes, this is a product you have to experience. You know, me as a reviewer, I can relate to that. But as a CEO tweeting something out like that, I'm thinking like, what a stinking sales pitch or a Twitter ad if I've ever seen one, you know what I mean? But holy smokes, once I got my unit in and started testing it out, I 110% agree with that tweet. And that product we're gonna be talking about today is the Razer Leviathan V2 Pro. Now I'm not gonna sit here in this room and you know, show you some top down and bore the mess out of you with it. I wanna pull you over to my actual game room, fire it up, get some sound samples, and actually talk about it gamer to gamer and what really just blew me away with this product here. So welcome to my game room. And as you're seeing, I look like a complete Razer fanboy. I have a Razer keyboard over here, a Razer mouse, backup wireless Razer mouse, another Razer mouse, a Razer gaming chair, Razer spinner. But most importantly, what we're gonna talk about is that Razer Leviathan V2 Pro. As you're seeing, right down here below my monitor. And that's the number one great thing I love about it. It's out of the way. It's down there. Heck, you can almost not see it. Now, if I lift my monitor up a little bit, you can see a little bit right there, some of the controls and everything, but that's the great thing about it. It's back there just doing what it does. But before we actually get to listen to it, I wanna talk about actually using it, which is just, Again, it's simple, it's great. The control's right on top of the unit right here. You got your EQ adjustment, your 3D sound adjustment, which we'll talk about again a little bit more, your volume control, your mute button, your source, and then your RGB control. Now you can dive further into Synapse and dabble with all of that stuff right there, which is honestly the preferred method I like. The on unit controls are a little bit, yeah, I don't know, sometimes you might forget what you're using, so I prefer to dabble into Synapse. But actually, what I've been using lately, I honestly love the app control right here. I can just log, don't be trying to look at my passcode now, but I love dabbling right in here to the Razer Audio app. Bam, I got my Leviathan V2 Pro, and I have everything in here. My source, I can get in here and adjust the 3D mode, the EQ, create a custom EQ in there, and then the RGB, it's so awesome to have that right at your feet. Fingertip. And yes, you can use this while you're in game. Like when you fire it up, it's gonna sync up to Bluetooth, your phone and everything. But once you go back to USB mode and you're in game and you just wanna kind of dabble with something, it's like, oh, what's this 3D mode? What's that 3D mode? How's this EQ sound? You can adjust it all in your phone mid game. Bam, sitting right there, you're at it. Boop, press a button and it changes. All right, so we're gonna dive into a round of the new Halo update, which is absolutely phenomenal. And this speaker is amazing on it. But one thing I wanna point out real quick, as we just talked about that, using the app here, one thing I wanna point out is EQ, setting custom EQs and such. When you come in here to the app on the phone, it's kind of, it's not very smooth and easy to adjust an EQ on this. It kind of bounces down, as you see it right there. Like if I pull this up, I wanna stop there and pull this up, it, it kind of just bounces around. It's not very easy. I recommend custom EQs being set within Synapse and it goes in there, but I like keeping mine just simply movie or music mode and then game mode drops the bass a little bit more. I kind of like music, it's just simple and easy. But the other cool thing is you press this little deal in the middle, kind of pulls up like a remote for it, right? You can adjust your volume right on it. So for me, you can adjust it, you know, in Windows, on the device, on the keyboard, or again, me personally, I like my phone sitting right there. Bam, and I can have it, get in here, adjust your subwoofer, again, your 3D mode, and by the way, we're using it on a virtual surround. You can also put on a virtual headset, which I'll show you as well, but I, we gotta kick it off like, holy smokes, it sounds like we're on the battlefield here. Let's go on and get into this game, and then dabble. Let me get back into volume mode here. All right, let me get, come on, come on, where's the volume mode? There we go, let's crank it up some. Let's crank it up. Woo! All right. All right. I always do horrible when I game on camera, so stick with me here, right? Like I get, I get stage fright. Again, you guys are coming from this lav mic, this wireless lav mic that I have on me. So hopefully it's picking it up as good as a, a camera mic can. Oh. But um, no joke, it seriously puts you.
It puts you into the battlefield. It is absolutely amazing. I've said this on a few other headsets before, and this, look at that guy go. This truly just makes you nerd out. Now again, we're on that virtual sound mode. Okay, let's go ahead and, all right, let me, let me get in a good spot. I'm gonna go to put it on that virtual headset, and you can see it changes right down there on the speaker. And it's definitely locked in a little bit more. Oh, this dude's coming here somewhere. Okay, I like that one. I can go with this. Woo! That was close. That was close. But now that now it's definitely like I don't want to say I could competitive play with it in the virtual headset mode but I can definitely pinpoint. And it's definitely more localized. Oh, he tried, to, he tried to grapple me back. But it's definitely more localized and I can definitely get down with it. I can play, oh, oh I could have had him. Look, he's low. Anyways, it's more localized and you can truly tell that, but, and, and it's definitely fuller. Now, again, we're still on virtual, so if I go straight to stereo, all right, now we're on stereo. And again, I'm keeping on the same EQ here. Now it sounds more like a regular pair of desk speakers. It definitely does, you know. Of course, you got the woofer, but kind of, I don't want to sound rude, right? A little harsh, boring. Ah! Oh, you son of a gun. My dude was sitting up there in the window. You know, if you're going to camp, at least help out when you're camping. Don't just camp to, you know, be a scaredy cat. But anyways, again, you can't go into that stereo mode. It's okay. Room filling is a little gimmicky, I think. I love the THS, the uh, THX, the virtual headset or the virtual surround. The virtual surround is, oh, I stink and love it. It's so, so fun. Oh, that guy's trying to snipe up there. Where you at? Well, there he is, okay. Where'd that dude go out sniping? Yo, why does my... I don't change a stinking thing in it. But again, this virtual, this is where it comes to life. Absolutely amazing. I just, I want to keep gaming. I've stated it before with other headsets. It, it's almost like, you know, a remastered game. And that's the vibe I get right here. Woo! Now there's another feature of this sound bar that I want to show you here. We're going to be jumping into Call of Duty Warzone. Not my favorite game. I love Call of Duty, but I'm not into Battle Royale games, right? But the cool thing that we're going to experience here, we're going to have this in the THX, the headphone. And again, you're hearing me from this little deal on me. So hopefully you can catch some of the experience through, again, our sources here. But anyways, as far as the Leviathan V3 uh, or V2 Pro, whichever V we're on, right? You can see the little lights flashing down here. And you got these sensors and it's picking up where your head is. It, you know, it's not so much like, where you're looking per se it's kind of like where you are so if i'm like over here a little bit it's going to direct more of the sound coming out of those speakers same over here a little bit more coming out of over there and it is noticeable to an extent that it's not so much more or less if you're looking again it's like where you are so if you're leaning over here you're going to hear a whole lot more sound coming over there rather than some of that room filling space that we experienced over there. So, so, so take it easy when you kind of hear about that. You're kind of thinking, oh, hey, I'm going to look like this. I'm going to see that enemy. I'm going to look over there. I'm going to see that enemy. It's not so much like that. Again, it is, if, if you're sitting over here is where you're really going to notice it. You're going to notice that sound coming at you more than if you're over here. You're going to notice it coming at you more. I think the whole looking a direction is a little gimmicky in my honest opinion. But again, you still get that. The cool thing about it, what I'm getting at here, is that it's cool that no matter where you are, you're gonna get that room filling experience. Anyways, we're dropping in here. I wanna give you a quick sound experience of this. I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. Let's get up to 60. Let's drop in. All right, where are we going? I, don't, I, I have no idea where I am. I rarely ever, I just about never play um, this mode here, just regular, so I need to get somewhere where there's a building at least. Yo, why's that water green? Hopefully someone, okay, there's somebody right there. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna sneak up on him, hopefully. What do I gotta press? I'm pressing E. 
Okay, I think I can get him now. I hear him. He's in here. He had armor, I didn't. But the cool thing, as you just noticed right there, is even though we're on, even though we're on a sound bar, I could still pinpoint where he was. That is awesome, because usually with desktop speakers, you can't pinpoint that at all. It's just kind of like a jumble coming at you. Really cool to get that sound location. And again, we are in the THX headphone zone here. Let's go on and what do we, that's kind of creepy. Gulag, let's see if I can take this guy. I, I don't know. Crank it up. All right, so he's looking that way. All right, so he's going up here. I'm going to try to go around him. If he's going up there. <laughs> he kind of went right where he was looking. That wasn't a, that was a bad move on him. Anyway, let's drop in and see what we can... Um, Get some volume. All right. The thing I can't stand about Battle Royale games is it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it takes long to find people and I get bored. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> Look at that, how he's holding them both. Okay, I think you're this thing a pistol. Yeah. So now I gotta find someone. This is where I lose all interest in Battle Royale. Circle closing. Yo, can I jump down there? No. What is it? I gotta see. Okay. Dude, just listen listen to that shot. Listen to this. Woo -hoo! You got that thump of that bass down below, but still that creep. What are we on? We're on 70. I'm cranking up to like 85. I wish I could find somebody. See, so you got that? Sounding good, getting that detail, climbing up the ladder. I hear someone. Probably the worst spot for me to be standing right on top of the building. Anyways, I want to test this. Listen to this. Woo you hear that echo come out? It is so nice. Just that. Uh, caliber round. I don't even know what I did. Oh, that sounds so good. Now, now what else I want to do, that's great for something like this. I'd recommend you be on that headphone mode, but I want to dabble in here. Let's go to virtual. Woohoo! That just came to life. What's going on here? I got airplanes flying over me. All right, let's see. Oh, man. Oh, I just love it. I just want to, even though this isn't like the preferred. Come on. There's another guy here. So I want to give you guys one more experience in the game I play the most, which is being Destiny. Because you kind of got that combination of story-driven, detail, shooter, all sorts of action going on right now. You know, it really just pulls you into that game. Again, Destiny being a game that I absolutely love, it almost just rejuvenates that love and just pulls it out even more. As nerdy and corny as that sounds, it's... We will destroy this stored light if we can. But our primary objective must be removing Hive leadership. They've been ahead of us at every step. Even the dialogue, it just sounds so crisp and so good. Now, now there's something else, two other things I wanna, I wanna point out while we're gonna go through this here, right? So, number one, we're on the sound, we're on the uh, spatial surround, right? But two other things I wanna point out, 
with the sensors being right there and the controls being up top, as you see on the unit. So my monitor is usually right about that, right? But I usually keep it a little bit lower. Well, that's gonna block the sensor, then obviously I can't get to the controls. Hence the reason, again, I like on my phone, or of course my basic audio control and media controls are right up there. I really don't adjust, you know, in the middle of the game, my EQ or my sound settings on the device, on the Leviathan right there. So that doesn't really bother me, but the other thing that's weird is like, I'll sit back like this a lot and just kind of slouch like a lazy gamer, right? And if I lift this up, again, the sensors aren't gonna catch you and it's gonna constantly search over, over and over and it's really just gonna, it doesn't affect it, it's just gonna give you that flat, straight up sound, which I didn't notice a way to disable that. And I probably would have disabled the, you know, the, the head tracking or whatever you wanna, you know, word it as. Okay, this is us right here. So those are two things that are kind of, again, some of it you can look at a little bit gimmicky. We gotta get on this? Okay. The other thing I want you to notice is, as you can see right now, we're on sound 32, volume level 32 here. It sounds good, but it's definitely not impactful in your face kind of sound, you know? When you crank it up, that's when the sound really, really comes to life. Okay, nobody's on the... All right, so watch. I'm going to crank it up now. We're on 32. Woo! There we go. That's... That's what we want. That's it right there. Wow. That dude stepped in front of me. Stepped right in front of me. So hopefully me bringing you into my game room and actually putting you in front of the game, in front of the speaker there with me, I hope that gave you a good vibe. Again, I can't stress it enough when I test desktop speakers or even when someone shows you like a monitor on, on a video, right? You're going from their capture source, you know, then the process and then out into whatever you're playing. And that's what's really, it's gonna sound like whatever you're playing, but hopefully you can kind of get a vibe right there. Maybe just me nerding out on it, you can see, you know? But after looking at there, I think we have a few questions to answer. Number one, was the, the CEO or the founder, or whatever, Min, was his tweet worthy, right? And hands down, like I said in the beginning, yes, this is something you have to experience. And why do I say that? Other than it just being stinking amazing and just like a jaw dropping, like, wow. Like it's just, again, it's that wow factor product. Well, I've used the other, the previous Leviathans and I've liked them, but then again, I've tried uh, different speakers, the Mackie ones, and I've put the Leviathan away. It's like, all right, these blow that away. They're so much better. This is again, that good where it's like, okay, you, you can't even compare it to the other Leviathans because it's such a different experience, you know? Hence, again, to his tweet where it's something you gotta try. The experience is very similar to like what I've stated about Odyssey headsets and headphones before. It's, it's so hard to put into words. It's something you gotta experience, you know? Number two question we need to answer, is it gimmicky? And I do think there is some gimmick in there. I really do. The, the face track and the beam forming surround sound I think is, I don't know, it could be a little bit gimmicky, like I said, the head track and stuff and everything, but again, it does fill the room. The sound's really dispersed so nice, but I think that's, again, due to the extra speakers that are in here and everything and how it's really getting delivered out, the customization options you got within it. That's what it's really delivering. That's what it's performing. So it's cool to have that, but at the core, which I always state, at the core, it's producing amazing, amazing results. And that's what I really like to see. Anything else on top of it is just, okay, cool. But now for our last question and probably the most important one, is it worth the price of $400? Whew, that is expensive. Now, let, let me say, is it worth $400? I'm gonna say yes, hands down. The experience, guys, if you just love game and you love getting immersed and getting wrapped up into your games and just having that different kind of experience, 
you're gonna you're you're gonna love this. You're gonna have a good time. This brings me back to the vibes of going from 1080p to 1440p, if that makes sense. You know, this is like on the vibes of using like a regular pair of headphones and then plug it into that amp or DAC. You know what I mean? It's a different vibe, a different experience you get right there, and it's so good. 400 bucks is a lot of money. There ain't no denying it. You know what I mean? But with everything it's packing, the Bluetooth, the surround sound, the settings again, the subwoofer and all that, it's packing. A punch. So there we go, my review on the Razer Leviathan V2 Pro. I, I know this is kind of that product that a lot of you would just kind of push aside and be like, nah, I just use headphones, I need my open back bear dynamics or something like that, you know what I mean? Again, this is an experience that I think has to be experienced. But I hope I was able to help you out and kind of translate that and, you know, put that through the camera a little bit here and kind of help you out if you're looking at it a little bit curious about it. Any other questions, ask right down in the comments. Always glad to talk shop. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.